Hi all, welcome to my channel. We are now discussing trigonometric functions, chapter 3, class 11 max. In this part, I include two examples. Example 4. The minute hand of a watch is 1.5 cm long. How far does it tip move in 40 minutes? Use pi is equal to 3.14. The value of pi is given. We want to find out how far does it tip move in 40 minutes. Here, the minute hand of a watch is 1.5 cm. So, we can take that is the radius. So, R is equal to 1.5 cm. We want to find out how long its tip move in 40 minutes. How long its tip move in 40 minutes. So, for that, we want to find out theta. Theta is not given. In 60 minutes, the minute hand of a watch complete one revolution. So, in 1 minute, the minute hand of a watch complete 1 by 60 revolution. Then, 40 minutes, the minute hand of the watch complete 40 divided by 60 of a revolution. That is equal to 2 by 3. Dividing, we get 2 by 3 of a revolution. And in 1 revolution, the angle is 360. In 1 revolution, the total angle is 360. So, in 2 by 3 of a revolution, Theta is equal to 2 by 3 times 360. That is equal to 240 degree. But we know that in this equation theta is radian. Not in angle. So we want to convert that degree, degree angle in the degree to radian. How we can convert? Multiplying degree with pi by 180. That will convert into radian. 240 into pi by 180. That is equal to we got 4 pi by 3 radian. 250 degree is equal to 4 pi by 3 radian. Then, substituting the value of theta and r in this equation, L is equal to r theta. L is equal to, look here, L is equal to 1.5 into 4 pi by 3. Dividing 1.5 by 3, we got 0 0.5. 0 0.5 into 4 pi, that is equal to 2 pi. Substituting the value of pi. 2 into 3.14 that is equal to 6.28 centimeter. Okay. L is equal to 6.25 centimeter. So, the tip move 6.28 centimeter. Clear? Example 5. If the arc of a same length in two circles subtend angle 65 degree and 110 degree at the center, find the ratio of their radii. For that, let's consider R1 and R2 be the radii of two circles. We consider R1 and R2. And theta1, theta2 is given. Theta1 is equal to 65 degree, theta2 is equal to 110 degree. We can use the equation L is equal to R theta. L is the arc length. R is the radius. Theta is the angle. Okay. But in this equation, theta is in radian. But here, given that theta is in angle. So, first we want to convert that theta, that angle in radian. 65 into pi by 180, we got 13 pi by 36 radian. That means 65 degree is equal to 13 pi by 36 radian. Similarly, 110 degree equal to 110 into pi by 180. Cancelling, we got 11 pi by 18. But we multiply numerator and denominator by 2. For equalizing the denominator 36 and 36 in theta 1 and theta 2, we multiply numerator and denominator by 2. Then we got 22 pi by 36. So, theta 1 equal to 13 pi by 36 radian. Theta 2 equal to 22 pi by 36 radian. L is equal to, L is same. If the arc of the same length, L is same. So, we can write that L is equal to R1 theta 1 equal to R2 theta 2. That implies R1 13 pi by 36 equal to R2 22 pi by 36. We can cancel the same values on both sides. 36, 36 cancelled. Pi and pi are cancelled. Then what we get? 13 R1 equal to 22 R2. That implies 
R1 divided by R2 equal to 22 by 13. Implies R1 is to R2 equal to 22 is to 13. So, the ratio is 22 is to 13. Ratio of their radii equal to 22 is to 30. Then it's clear now. Thus we complete examples and in the next section is exercise 3.1 that we will discuss in next part. Thank you.